and we are back to part two of the ugly ice cream cone. The hot fudge sundae of cash. <laughs> there we go. I like that. Hot fudge sundae. There we go. So listen, yesterday, October 5th, my birthday, we put out part one. What? That was crazy. All right. So it's crumbling with us not even doing anything. Uh, that was for 250. We made 60 back. So that's 190. Today is for 500. So technically before we, we'll just put the 60 at the end. We're 700 and 50 involved thousands of dollars lies inside of this now we did get a little bit more quarters for our 500 we need to get this thing to fall down and whatever cash we win we win but it's got to happen this time i can't afford to go up to the next one which is a thousand so hopefully the day after my birthday is the day we get this, but officially this is before my birthday, so it would be a birthday present. <laughs> Again, if you're not really familiar, Silver Strike is absolutely the hardest of all five coin pushers here. Um, we've learned that stacking it up and trying to get it down immediately is the only way to do it. Oh, because it takes no time to lose all of the quarters that are in the playing field built up and then you're just left with nothing. I did get some uh, helpful things happen. This has got to be it right here. Get it down. Oh, this should, should have been it. So much fell at the same time and it didn't, but it's still back there. So hopefully it'll get piled up. All of that mess that was on the back shelf is now right behind the coin pusher. I got to try to get as many quarters as I possibly can to fall now to try to push it while it's right behind it up. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. This has to be it. Okay, I guess it doesn't have to be. No, 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 no. Oh, the bottom's starting to come out right there. That is what we need. And coming out there on the right, too. All oh, the tower's starting to crumble. I got to do this now. It's not going to happen. Come down, come down. Get it down. Oh, this thing is going to look so sweet falling. So once the tower falls, we got to play smart. And I, I'm saying once because I'm positive, positive thinking. Because we don't want to clog up anything. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so there is a couple things left on the back shelf that could really help us out, take up a lot of area. I did not mean to let that go. All right, the, the first one's down. Oh, I think it's getting ready to fall, guys. I really do. It just seems like it's getting uneasy. I don't need to win anything on top, so if it falls off, it falls off. But the stuff that is on top, if it falls in the playing field, should help us knock the tower down. It takes up so much area, so much more than these quarters do. But see, the back shelf is getting already real sparse. All right, I'm just going to let that go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. We're almost out of quarters. Ooh. That was a good push. So the briefcases are pushing into the bottom. That's our last quarter. Come on, baby. Oh, Come back here.
So, um, that hundred placard chip there on the left was holding back the briefcase, which in return was putting pressure into the tower. Now that thing has gave way and the tower itself doesn't have that pressure on it. So that was an unforeseen problem. See, you can clearly see there on the left how it's just easily coming out now. I stand to the left, so I can't really see what the right's doing, but probably the same, same thing, I'm guessing. I'm just gonna load this thing up with as many quarters as I can fit in here. Okay. Man, that makes me mad when I do that. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, man. Come on, get down. Oh, I am not paying for another buying. It's got to happen now. I'm stacking up the right side. Oh, it's just as... Going it. Alright, so I'm gonna throw these on top. Ah, well, I didn't do it that time. Alright, I'm gonna go down here and collect. Ooh. Come on, this has got to work while this is putting pressure. I think sometimes when I go down to the bottom and I start to clean it out that that it it shakes it a little bit now I'm, I'm honestly I'm not shaking it at all but I feel like that's why it falls so many times when I'm doing the clean out all right this thing I haven't got any cash out of that yet and I guess you really can't maybe I should bring this up there is definitely some cash inside of the bowl and some chips that I guess fell down inside too. So let me put the rest of these quarters in here. And last one. All right, let's readjust this. All right, so there's a little bit different angle. You can't really, I mean, I forget I'm six foot one, so I'm like a lot higher looking down on it. But you can see the inside of the bowl there. I was really hoping that these chips would be putting more pressure on it. But I mean, it's, it's definitely working. It's just not as fast as what I was hoping. That was a good one. All right, so let's uh, let's load this thing up one more time. I'm gonna try to hit those on top. There we go. I'm trying to honestly, purposely get those loaded up on top of each other so I can put some more quarters back there. I'm just gonna load this up with everything. Give it all she got, Captain. And that's everything. Ooh, come on, baby. I'm going to go down here and start cleaning out. Ooh, come on, baby. I'm going to go down here and start cleaning out.
that was probably one of the best decisions that I've made. I started cleaning out before it completely fell down. Because I have a feeling I wouldn't have been able to do a clean out at all. So down to five minutes, that's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. bulk of that cache is right there in the middle so we just need the middle to fall down and we'll be good Ooh, man i got that pat myself on the back of here a little conceited but i got that thing positioned perfectly to see it that's awesome i'm glad i moved it up a little coin pusher intuition ah it's hitting the wrong way Come on, baby, come on. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I gotta get behind that. I, I need as many to come down at once as I possibly can get. Oh, I didn't mean glad that happened. All right, come on, baby, come on. Get this thing down, get it down, get it down, get it down, get it down, get it, yes! That was beautiful. I better clean than I can do. Oh my gosh. Maybe I, I could have uh, cleaned that out a little bit sooner because that took a little bit more time, but I had to make sure that I could get the cash out. We've got a lot of it down. I don't know how much is there. I did, I've just been grabbing the throwing, which I'll show you at the end. But uh, Oh, 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 oh my gosh. That never sounds good. Why am I doing that, Josh? So I don't see any more cash there on the edge, but there's some money stuck inside the chute. I think you can kind of see. So I'm just going to use my last few minutes to try to get that to come down. But I'm happy. I, I really am happy. I, I think the second part of it has uh, really been nice. And we got it down. All right, guys. So this is going to be my last hoorah of quarters wish me luck first wave beautiful and our last second wave okay not as beautiful but that's all right all right guys so you know the term grab and growl that's exactly what i did on this i literally just i mean there's so many quarters in here i didn't want to be sweet about it i just wanted to get them cleared out so now what we actually win which is all that cash we got 750 so 690 dollars involved let's see and leave me a comment how much money out of the 690 involved do you think we got back all right guys we'll be right back see you soon all right guys so 250 first video 500 this video minus the 60 that we won from the first video puts us at 690 i don't know what the hundreds are yet but i do know what this one is this is the 20s and 10s and 50s so the 50s were inside the 20s and 10 were around our total of them two is 280 dollars so now what i need to do is get the hundreds uh we're just going to start over from zero these are the hundreds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen oh my gosh fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen hundred dollars 280 1900 
is 2,180 minus 690. That puts us at a total of $1,490 profit. $1,490 profit. I will take that all day and every day. We actually made money ending August. I forgot to announce this. We were up $2,240. $2,240. The first winning month. I can't even tell you since when. We didn't play as much, but we were up $2,240. So I take that. I roll it over into October that gives me the first couple buy-ins paid for and today we made another almost $1,500 to add to that guys This did make my October 5th birthday amazing. I know you're seeing this afterwards, but uh, this is I'm playing this before Thank you guys so much for everything if you enjoyed the way things ended up I would greatly appreciate if you hit that like button follow the page to all of our VIP Facebook members. Guys, thank you so much. All 22 of you all. I Seriously, I can't thank you so much for help support me. All the YouTube people that stay loyal to me and all the new Facebook and uh, new YouTube family members. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.